hello friends welcome to communication skills for everyone if you are watching this channel first time please subscribe for more academic and educational videos friends today uh, let us uh, learn uh, this uh, poem summary hawk roosting by ted hawks so first uh, what is the summary of this let us look at the summary right uh, this uh, hawk roosting is actually written as a dramatic monologue dramatic monologue and is uh, in this uh, told uh, from point of view of a hawk why right? it's a hawk it's a kind of bird the hawk de details all the things in nature and are available to him so he perches in in the old tree sleeping and looking for his uh, prey hunting he believes all that is around him exist for him and only him he reveals in his uh, predatory nature fearing nothing fearing nothing so and uh, stalking uh, his claim on everything he sees himself as a almost uh, good like all that is around him and is is the way it is uh, because uh, he deems it to be that way so roost hawking what happens in the hawk serves as the speaker of this poem so yeah the tone of it tone is uh, very confident and almost haughty at times although his belief in his superiority appears to be more steeped in honesty than it does in false uh, bravado the hawk continuously uses the pronoun in the poem like i throughout the course of the work so another uh, challenge uh, otherwise interesting task or fact is to know the about the poem is that hogs has written it entirely in the present tense right we can look at the present tense when we start reading it which adds to the sense that the hawk has always been and will always be at the top of the food chain so hawk roosting consists of six stanzas so here we have six stanzas uh, each uh, one has four lines right each one has four lines there is no set rhyme scheme to the poem and uh, ted hawks relies and free words in order to convey his themes to his readers the first stanza talks about the hawk seems to be deep in meditation right that because top of the wood my eyes closed right that's what he doesn't feel threatened by anything in the wild in the forest nothing right it's calm and therefore he can easily close his eyes and not worry about his surroundings he is perched in free where he can easily look down on the forest he inhabits so where the author uses interesting diction in this stanza right so simply you look at the right imagery right between by my hooked head and hooked feet right what it means it may be to like dangerous and short beak and claws of the bird so in the line the hawk tells the reader that he is able to perform the perfect kill even in his sleep so it is almost high top of the hill so there is no it is not the bird is not scared about anything because it is all it is the top right the first stanza talks about it let us move to the second stanza whereas it uh, talks about the earth so uh, right in this uh, the hawk conveys to the reader how easy and convenient right how easy and convenient uh, uh, is life is everything in nature it seems has been made for the sake of his pleasure and ease so everything is uh, maybe created for its ease in line fire right the ox seems right the year it seems to be marveling at how much nature has given him he's so empathetic that he even uses an exclamation point to convey right so here we can look at the exclamation mark to convey his feelings right the trees are high for him right the hair is buoyant making it easy for him to glide the sun's ray gives him warmth right the sun ray gives him warmth he claims that all these aspects of nature make his life more convenient and comfortable 
White Hawk, hereafter also creates a parallel between up and down. All is below the hawk. The earth sits below him so that he can inspect it from his perch. This kind of dichotomy reflects the superiority of the hawk because it is up in the sky. So the society shows the kind of superiority. Right, let us look at here the third stanza. So in that third stanza, what happens? The hawk is announcing his perfection, right? His perfection to his reader. Again, he draws attention to his short claws, stabbing into the tree limb as he perches. He also presents that he took creation, probably capitalized here, in order to represent God everything. He possessed in order to produce just one of the hawk's feet and each and every feather on his body. This particular stanza provides an image of higher power, hard work, hard at work, slaving over how to create such a great and powerful being. Now the hawk proclaims he himself is God, more powerful than any being on both earth and in heaven. So that's what it says. Let us, uh, in stanza 4, what happens here? The hawk is important saying that he can do whatever he pleases whatever it likes so it has the freedom it has the freedom to choose it he cannot fly slowly through the air taking in all of the sides beneath him so he can kill wherever he pleases because all of the world belongs to him so there is no need to lie or pretend otherwise because uh, no need to pretend and because the hawk can prove his power by tearing up the heads of his victims. So the fourth stanza doesn't end neatly again. So the author carries the thoughts of the hawk into the fifth stanza as well. So fifth stanza as well, so it says, no, hawk is uh, so godlike in the stanza that he says, he selects who leaves and dies the one fight he makes is the one he takes to kill his prey. There are no arguments necessary because he is all powerful. So in last stanza, the sixth stanza, it says, the, uh, it closes right, the hawk roosting is an absolute way. The hawk claims that the world has not changed since he was created. So when the world is created, since then there is no change in that one it has been perfect and permanent so it's perfect and permanent he says it has not changed because he has not allowed it to do so right this is about the uh, uh, sixth stanza right so this talks about the poem right already we talked about the summary in the beginning hawk roasting by ted hawks Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Communication skills for everyone for more academic and educational videos.